Hi guys, what's up? Welcome, I hope you guys are having a fabulous Sunday. For today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I got in my Ipsy Glam Bag Plus, as well as what I got in my BoxyCharm. So I already unboxed my BoxyCharm Premium on Friday. I was very disappointed with that, which is kind of shocking because I think that was the first BoxyCharm box that I was like, well, I wasn't feeling good and usually I'm really really happy with boxy charms so I'll leave that video linked down below if you guys missed out on that but yeah both of these boxes do retail for $25 a month um, so I figured it would just make sense to unbox them together I kind of am dying to see what's on in boxy charm first but I think we're gonna go ahead and open up um, ipsy first just cuz we'll give, we'll give ipsy a moment um, so here's what it looks like when you open it up of course I haven't peeked I never peek um, I always like to share my excitement with you guys so let's do this Here's what the pamphlet looks like. We get the prices and everything on this. The first thing that's included is the Ipsy bag for the month. And I have to say, normally I'm not crazy about the bags, but this one is really cute. I like that there's this marbleized kind of effect here and then a more of a simple vibe on the other side. It's cute. Not bad. It's like a wristlet. Not like, it is a wristlet. So I can definitely take this. Am I sweating? Maybe. <laughs> Possibly. Um, I could probably take this with me on the go or something. Oh, and on the back, it's pretty much all marbleized. That's fun. I like that. Okay, so the first official thing that's included in here is the Pure Lease Blue Lotus I Adore Serum. So here's what it looks like. I haven't tried much from Pure Lease. Whoa. What? The original value of this is 58 bucks. It says here your under eyes are delicate, so this serum is designed to handle them with care really cool i'm using the pharmacy one at the moment like the eye cream and i really like that one i love pharmacy as a brand in general but i might give this one a go it seems like it has more of like a gel like consistency to it and it has a very 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 light scent to it so hopefully it's not going to irritate the under eye area i've been curious about this brand so you know pretty happy that that's included i'm happy i'm happy the next thing that's included in here is this nature's cardal Lipstick. Never heard of this brand, but you guys know it's okay to throw in one or two random brands that I never heard of. Original value 15 bucks. Here it is, the perfect pink. I think I'm a pretty major pink expert. Let's let's see if this is really the perfect pink. No, it's so not. This is more of like a burgundy color. I don't know. I would not put this in the pink family. I'd put it like more in the raspberry-ish burgundy kind of family. It kind of matches my shirt. I feel like um, it would be great to kind of throw it on because it doesn't seem like it's a matte finish. It has more of like a satin finish, I should say. All right, the next thing that's included is this, and this is the Sugar Wingman Waterproof Micro Liner in black. At least they included a black. This right here is $11.99. Get the best cat eye of your life with this jet black liquid liner. I constantly mention this. I suck with these. I don't know if there'll ever be a day where I'll just be like, yo, I'm owning this cat wing liner. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Listen, so I'm thinking maybe I will put this to the test. It actually is pretty nice, very black. It doesn't seem like it's going into the lines of my hands. So we'll see. I'll, I'll, I'll figure this out. The next thing that's included is this Nors Skin Meditation Gel Cream. This is a $36 value. It says um, fluctuating hormones, especially around your period. Oh, how did you know? It's due any day now. Um, can make your skin super sensitive. It's true. I always break out. Not today so much, but usually. It says here, this is loaded with peppermint oil and hyaluronic um, acid to give you soft, dewy skin at every stage of your monthly cycle. Okay, interesting. I like the fact that it says no animal testing, no fragrance, paraben-free, GMO-free, silicone-free. Nice. What is this? Cool. I've never heard of this brand, but it looks really nice. I like that there's no fragrance to it. I like that it's not animal tested. It feels very, very jelly-ish. Mm, it has like a minty scent, so hopefully that, that's not going to irritate like the face or anything, but I don't know. Maybe I'll mix this in with like an oil. I'll test it out and see. And then the final product that's included in here is something that I picked. Now, normally Ipsy um, does allow you to pick, sorry, does allow you to pick one item. And if I see the email, I pick the item. If I don't happen to see the email, then I just get surprised for that month. But this right here is the Huda um, Amethyst Obsessions Palette. I did used to own this. I never swatched it or opened it, but I ended up gifting it to Izzy as a surprise gift. Um, but now I have it in my life. It's so cute how like I feel like God works in a way. Like you give something and then in a way it kind of comes back in your life if it's meant to be. Lyra, this is a lesson, okay? <laughs> anyway, so I guess this was meant to be in my life. Here's what the palette looks like. Um, it's beautiful. It includes a ton of like purpley toned shades. Really pretty. 
oh my gosh so nice there's a ton of finishes in here and i feel like i create a really pretty look just using this of course love these little babies okay so here's how the palette swatches i will say that the mattes are very weak like this one right here kind of sucked as well as this one but the metallics and the like satin finishes seem like they're really nice some of these are also like duochrome so like depending on how you move you'll see like a different effect but i do like these colors i feel like maybe going into the spring months especially to kind of throw on the eye would look really pretty oh you can use it anytime you know so that's pretty much it that was everything that was included in ipsy for the month of january my jaw definitely hasn't dropped but it's not it's not too bad it's not too omg it's like right in the middle i'm 70 percent really happy now let's see what's on the inside of boxycharm so Whoops, here's what it looks like on the inside. So the theme of the month is breaking the ice, like I mentioned in Friday's video because I unboxed the premium already. But this right here is the Avent uh, Shea Butter Rice Bran Sleeping Mask. All right, it took some time to get there. <laughs> but it says apply a thin layer to dry skin, allow it to absorb into the skin, no need to wash off. So I do like uh, masks that I can kind of sleep with because sometimes I can get lazy and not want to wash off my face. <laughs> So something like this could be nice. It is a full size 1.69 fluid ounces of product in here. It has a nice consistency to it. Pretty thick. Oh, yum. It smells amazing. It smells like shampoo. But not in an overpowering way. So I, I think that's going to be really nice. So basically the original value of this is $107. It's cruelty free though, but what? <sighs> The next thing that's included is the Skin & Co. Exfoliating Truffle Face Wash. I think that we got this in Ipsy. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure because I remember giving this to my sister, the one that I had in my bathroom because I felt like I had a decent amount of uh, cleansers and I wasn't going to go through all of them. But basically, it's an exfoliating cream, $28. It is the full size. It is sealed. Um, I, from what I remember, it does exfoliate pretty nicely. I just gave it to her because I felt like I had a decent amount, like I said, of exfoliators and cleansers. So I didn't want to just have them to have. Um, I think she likes it. It's in her shower. But I'll put this in my backup skincare drawer so I'll use it when I run out of um, cleansers. Okay, the next thing that's included, let's let's talk about this. Why isn't this in its box? <laughs> this is supposed to come in a box. Um, this right here is the Pretty Vulgar Undercover Eye Concealer. I got mine in the shade... 63 the middle ground and i never filled out that skin survey so they just sent me this shade i think it could still work out for me now the thing is that we did see this at tj maxx quite a few times already actually this is going to be too dark but we have seen this at tj maxx quite a few times and yeah this is way 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 too dark here's what the shade looks like it seems like it's going to be moisturizing but i'll probably only be able to use that when i'm self tanned what i realized with boxy charm and ipsy as of lately is that a decent amount of their products or even like one or two of the products that are included in the boxes are tj maxx and like i mentioned in my other video when that kind of happens it devalues the product so when it says like original value 45 not really if you find it at tj maxx for 10 you know anyway the next thing that's included in here is this this is the petite and pretty fully feathered mascara never heard of this brand um this right here retails for 16 dollars. it's a volumizing mascara okay interesting it basically has the same kind of wand as the better than mascara by Too Faced um, but a little bit shorter and smaller looks good though it has more of like a wet consistency to it and then finally the last part that's included in here is the Ace Beauty or Ace Beauty Scarlet Dusk palette which looks just like this this it's gorgeous uh, first ingredient is mica and then talc uh, so the original value of this is $34.99 I know that there's one warmer tone palette and one cooler tone palette uh, do I want the warmer one or cooler? I'll take cooler. No. <laughs> Warm is fine too. So here's what the palette looks like. It does have a very cardboardy shoe-like scent. I don't know. It reminds me of like when I got shoes when I was like in eighth grade. <laughs> Random memory. But anyways, uh, there's a selection of mattes in here and a selection of metallics. Really pretty. I feel like I could definitely get a ton of use out of this. I've, I don't think I've tried any palettes from this brand I'm not 100% sure, honestly. Here are how the shades look like once they're swatched. I will say that the metallics in here have a very thick feel to them, like a very like rough, like a roughness to them in a way. Not that they don't swatch well, but they feel very thick. I don't like that. I feel like it has a very cheap feel to them. Where is this made? Made in PRC. And here you go. I don't know. I'm not 100% feeling the consistency of the metallics. The mattes seem like they were smooth and nice, but... 
I don't know how easy it's going to be to apply on the eye. But anyways, that is pretty much it. That was everything that was included in the BoxyCharm box for January. If I had to choose one, I think that Ipsy won for this month, which is crazy to me in a way because I don't think Ipsy won in a very, very long time. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't think that the products in the Ipsy box was like, <gasps> like I mentioned before. But I definitely think that they're the products in there are better than the products in BoxyCharm. I feel like BoxyCharm was kind of a downer this month for the premium and for this box. I'm not really sure what's going on. Um, I mean, I feel like they kept consistently getting better and better, and now it's like, no. So hopefully they'll do better next month. I mean, we all have our times where we fall and rise, right? All right. Anyways, <laughs> I'm so thirsty. Definitely let me know what you guys got on your Ipsy as well as BoxyCharm for the month of January. A few of you guys actually messaged me on Instagram and you told me how like you weren't really happy with BoxyCharm. And I'm like, wow, I feel bad, you know? It's still money, 25 bucks. I want to get good stuff. All right. Anyways, that's pretty much it. I am looking forward to reading your comments down below and I'll see you guys in my next video.